What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be installing some running boards on the Ram 1500. But before we start on that, I want to show you what these running boards would look like on the Trail Boss. So there they are, nice and neat on the jack stands. And that's about what it would look like if you were installing this on your Trail Boss. Why am I showing these off? Well, I've showed off the amp power boards which is a premium price and then i've had my infab running boards which were kind of a mid-grade price these are a very affordable price if you're just wanting a set of running boards and you're not wanting to spend a ton of money so let's jump right into it and i'll show you this installation these boards are from most plus and i'll leave all the links in the description below everything you need comes right out of the package you've got your running board three brackets and all the hardware. Here's the truck without the board, so let's start with the brackets. When you climb under the truck, you'll see your first bracket location is right here. They send these bolts that go right inside that hole and they'll pull tight once you get a nut on there. But be very careful because you don't want these falling inside there. What I actually recommend is going ahead and installing these the way they're gonna go and put a nut on this side, that way it doesn't fall through. You'll slide each side in the hole. Now that they're in there, you'll want to snug them up, but you don't want to tighten them up all the way until you get everything lined up. The next bolt location is right here, so you'll want to take two bolts right through here. Once you get those bolts through, take a nut and slide one on each bolt. All you want to do is snug those up until we get the boards on the brackets and get them lined up. You have another mounting location halfway down the truck, and then your third mounting location is right on the back. We've got our first bracket on, so let me get the other two on and I'll show you how to install the board. Let's get to the installation of the board. You'll flip it over. You see you got six bolts on the back. You want to loosen those up and slide them into place. Take a look at your bracket. You can see that this one's closed off and then this front one actually has an opening. So you don't want to take off, but the back bolt, leave this one on so you can slide the board on. Once you get the board slid into place, take your other three bolts and tighten everything up on the bottom and then go back and tighten up the brackets. When you're trying to install the next bolt, take you a small screwdriver and just slide that square nut right over and tighten down your bolt. guys we're all finished up here that was a really easy install here's a close-up of the board not bad at all let me show you the other side I went ahead and finished that up you've got plenty of room to step up on this board it's a six inch wide step and they turned out pretty good I wanted to show you all a very affordable option for a running board. If you're looking for a more premium running board, I'll leave a link in the description below of the Amp Power Boards. If y'all enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and do so. Until next time, see y'all.